Welcome to the channel folks. Today we are going to talk about an interesting topic of copying snapshots across multiple regions. Say for example your test environment or your developers are in one region, say in this case Western Europe or in India and you want to move over the data all the way to say for example in the US region, say Virginia or you might want to even copy over to the Western region in California then you need some mechanism to do that. Amazon offers two different ways of doing it. One is a CLI command. It is a very friendly command. As you can see here, you just put in the destination region source and the snapshot ID and also a description along with it. Then you can copy it or you can go ahead and do that from your uh, GUI as well. You go to the snapshots, select the one that you are interested in and go ahead and uh, click on actions. You'll have the option to copy it. So first I'm going to show you my GUI where I want to copy the snapshots from one region, say for example Frankfurt and all the way to Virginia. And we will also do that um, both the mechanisms that is CLI as well as through GUI. Here we are in my dashboard for Frankfurt region and you can see here there is a total of uh, six snapshots and I have all tagged them saying EBS DLM is equal to true and I have tagged all the snapshots and you can see them here. So if I go ahead and flip over to my uh, Frank, uh, Virginia region now, you can see here there are no snapshots right now. So I am going to copy some of the snapshots that we see here in the Frankfurt region all the way to Virginia now. Let us go ahead and do that in our CLI first. So before going ahead and uh, copying over the snapshots I just want to query them from my CLI this is the command to query them and you can see here all the six snapshots are there likewise if I go ahead and uh, query in the Virginia region that is US East 1 you will find that there are no snapshots right now so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give the command that will copy the snapshot from one region to another one so let's go ahead and paste the command here's the command there's a copy it and then the source region I need to update it so the destination region as Virginia and then the source region is going to be for us is Frankfurt and just a simple message saying this is a copied snapshot so this is the dummy command that is let us go ahead and fill in the actual values now so let us paste it there and if everything is fine you should be getting a new snapshot ID of the target region so if we go ahead and check the GUI for this snapshot ID, we will be having an image that is being copied over. So before go ahead and going ahead and checking that, let us go ahead and try to see how we can copy that from the GUI also. Then we can go to the destination region and check whether both the snapshots have been copied. Here we are in the GUI again. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this one, the test DB snap, and I'm just going to click on copy here. And then I'm going to select here Virginia and I'm just going to leave the rest of all the information as it is let us go ahead and leave the description also and then click on copy here so once I go ahead and click on copy I get all this information saying the copy has been initiated and all we have to do is go ahead and head over to our Virginia section and let us go ahead and refresh the screen and we should be able to see that there are two snapshots that are being processed and one is the one the description that we gave from the CLA command that says this is a copied snapshot and this is another one that we are doing it from the GUI. So in a few minutes, the copy action will get completed and you should be able to use the snapshots in the new region. So that is how you move the snapshots from one region to another region with minimum effort. If you're comfortable with a batch scripting or a Boto, you can go ahead and automate it. Or if you're not comfortable, you can go ahead and do that through a GUI also. If you have any doubts or any questions on how to do this or why we are doing it, go ahead and put them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help them with you. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel.